Diablo is not your traditional modern dance company. Finding the right dancer is very difficult. You need to be the right kind of breed. Physically strong, great line, who are inventive in creating movement, intelligent co-collaborators. Jacques Heim is the artistic director for Diablo, a dance troupe based in downtown Los Angeles. You know, the days of just a dancer behind a choreographer, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, and the dancer repeat it, is over. I'm looking for people who is willing and want to become an artist. After an extensive auditioning process, Haim handpicks 10 artists to bring his vision to life. One. I'm interested about the interaction and the relation between the human body and the architectural environment, how it is affecting us, not only socially, but physically and emotionally. And that's why we came up with Diavolo Architecture in Motion. I spent some time with Haim and the group as they rehearsed their newest show, Cubicle. It's set to debut at the Broad Stage in early May. The theme of Cubicle is getting lost into the machine, getting lost into the corporate world, and how can you regain your own identity, your own self. You've been in this corporate company. You don't really like it, but you have to be there because you have to pay the bills. Imagine you have two or three or four kids. How would you tap on that desk? Go, yes. I experienced Move Haim's techniques faster. firsthand. Go, go. It was a faster. small window into what it takes to train with him. Go, 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 yeah, go, yes. Was that good? A relationship he says that his dancers are not always prepared for. Well, at first, when they go into Diablo, they have no idea what they're stepping into. It's a whole different world. Be in it and doing it. Oh my gosh, and they have a moment of a little panic. Do I leave? Do I stay? Jacques Heim is intense. Jacques' personality can be really crazy at one moment, but then really sweet at another moment. He, he often always puts on a show. He needs to be dramatic and out there to push you and to get your attention and to get a rise out of you. go more forward and you move. Jacques' personality being up and down, it makes his dancers find Peace. Like, I have to be calm. I have to know that any moment Jacques going to be here or Jacques going to be here or Jacques going to be right in your face. The most predictable thing about him is that he's so unpredictable, that he's very emotional and he's so emotionally invested into everything that he does. And he's different every day, which is kind of his most redeeming quality and also it's most challenging. You're not ever going to be completely 100% prepared. Nothing is random with me. Nothing is irrational with me. I know exactly what I'm doing. You're phenomenal, and I will let you know. You suck, and I will let you know also why. I was the chosen one. <laughs> so I was the one who did everything wrong at every single moment and point in time. I knew that it was just because he was pushing me. And I believe in you, and I can see the change and the growth. You're gonna feel like I'm uh, totally, it doesn't make sense, irrational, oh my God, he's so mean, and why he does that to me? Oh my God, I, 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 mommy, daddy, help me. But I know that, but there's a point, there's a process to the madness. And then eventually, things get a little more clear. He has to push us to the point to make it personal. You're going to feel fatigue and stress. You're going to be overworked, and you're not going to like a lot of it. If you want to live in this house, these are the rules, whether you like it or not. Turns out, it isn't easy. I learned this when I try to make the team. <laughs> I had to go down, I had to commit. One of my favorite things about Jock is the fact that he does find people's weaknesses. So that was not so good. I think through finding their weaknesses, he finds their strength and they find their strength. Nice. I think that's what has made this company what it is today. I break them, I build them up, I break them, I build them up. Yes, I love my dancers, absolutely. I would do anything for them. And to that I say, I'll die for you. I'll die for you.